Good afternoon. Again, Sedona. One of our favorite places. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. We really like it. We are going on a hike today um, on the West Fork Trail, it's called. Um, and it follows the West Fork of Oak Creek, which is the kind of river that runs through Sedona, the Sedona area. Um, so it's supposed to be a really cool trail, very pretty. I guess it crosses over the creek like 13 times. Yeah. So we got our water shoes on, ready to get our feet wet. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it is. Not a lot of movement in the water right here. But you can see the giant canyon wall that we're next to. This trail isn't, doesn't have a ton of elevation change. So it's a little easier, which is nice. And the fact that we're just, you know, in the forest, in the forest. Uh, helps. That's amazing. It's just crazy to think, you know, how long it's taken for the water to erode the rock here to create this overhang, you know, because I'm easily underneath an overhang of red rock making this nice shady spot here, which, yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Okay, we changed our minds. We were gonna go back up that little trail that we came down to get down here, but it looks like the trail up there crosses over the river. There's another river crossing further up. So we're just gonna walk up the stream. Little tiny minnows. Do you see them? And we continue this way. Okay, so what, this is crossing number two? Crossing number two. Okay, crossing number two. Oh, look at those rocks, a little waterfall. All right, successfully navigated. We're getting deeper into the forest here. Lots of tall, tall, tall pine trees. Tall trees. Tall trees, there's a bunch of tall trees. <laughs> and, uh, but we're not moving away from the rocks. The rocks are all around us still. Um, it's amazing the different terrain uh, that they have here in Arizona, especially in the kind of Sedona, Flagstaff area. Um, we've done a couple other trails around Sedona and they've been, you know, red rock. It's been more like desert landscape with um, cactuses and, you know, all these little lizards and, uh, you know, a lot more like rocky steps to climb up and stuff like that. And then you just drive 10 miles north and you get this. You're in, you know, the stinking forest. You're walking along a, you know, babbling brook, creek, if you will. And uh, there are just, you know, mount mountains mo yeah, mountain walls surrounding you in every direction. It's really pretty breathtaking. It's awesome. Another side trail. Look at this tree. It's obnoxiously huge. Come stand by for scale. She's coming. Look at it. It's big. Really big. Probably one of the biggest ones I've seen out here so far. Yeah. Probably that's, that's probably why there's a side trail that leads to it. Because people like to check it out and take pictures. Another nice thing about this trail, in contrast to most of the trails in Sedona, because most of them, like I said, are red rock and there's a lot of climbing and it's really hot and there's no shade. Um, here we get this nice sand train and everything's pretty flat and there's shade. Is everybody can bring their dogs. Yes. There's so many 
cute puppies yes. out on the trail. It's so funny. You know, I didn't really think about it, but I think the only way that you could like protect your dog is they have like the little booties. Yeah. And a lot of them have the booties and like they walk just fine with them. Yep, they got a little booties on because yeah. the, the ground gets pretty hot because of the sun. The asphalt and everything. So they all have little booties on. It's, it's so funny. funny. You can hear all the birds chirping. That tells you that you're really in the woods. It's such a nice, pleasant sound. It is. You know, when you can hear little river kind of rapids and then like birds chirping. It's nice. And you know you're out in nature. So one issue with this trail, not really an issue, it's just something that you have to be mindful of and know ahead of time is that there's not a lot of parking. So there is a parking lot, um, it only has about 30 spaces and this is a pretty popular trail. There is a fee to enter, um, I think, what was it? Two thousand a person. Two thousand a person? Yeah. Two thousand across the pack and we just chop it up. Yeah. Cut a gap. Can't get machinery out here to move this tree, so yeah, right? we just cut a gap in it and leave it. Keep on going, and I think it's cool. I, that's awesome. That's how I want you to see it. Yeah. Eating our typical mid-trail snack. <laughs> this is pretty cool right here. All these like big slanty rocks. Kind of leaning towards the water. we go and we are pretty far now the less people we're seeing <laughs> there's actually a lot more people turning back yeah we're seeing a second time yeah there's a lot more people going the other way we're still going out further we're gonna try to make it to the end deeper as far as we can to the secret mountain wilderness <laughs> yes <laughs> these giant rocks that I don't know if you can see it through the trees they're sh like sheared right off of this rock face um, they're huge obviously you can tell from we're from Michigan and we don't have big rocks no in Michigan so no, <laughs> we're slightly over impressed by the large rocks <laughs> oh look at that rock look at that rock <laughs> I don't know where the end is but I think we're pretty close Hopefully we know it when we see it. We gotta be getting close to the end, I think. I think we found it. I think this is it. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. Okay, we saw some people walking up farther, so I think there is more to it up these stairs. Okay, so it sounds like it's about 20 more minutes here. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. Maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. Okay, that's it. That's the way. I don't even know where to grab. I can't make that. Can't make it? Impressive. 
even with your small leg span. No. Thank you. Surprise, it's still going. It's one of those scenarios where you're walking and you're waiting for the end of the trail. Uh-huh. And you keep telling yourself, it's just around that bend. It's just around that corner. It's right there. You gotta be close. It's right around the it's oh it's over the hill. Oh. It's gotta be right through here. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Oh yeah, this has got to be it right up here. I see some waterfall-ish action. Not waterfall, but more uh, kind of rapids. Um, and I think the water gets deeper up here. Oh, yep, here's a trail marker. And not sure how we continue here. Getting through there is doable, but not comfortable. And getting back up through it is not going to be uh, very easy. Wait, do we go up this way? Maybe. Maybe it's this way. I think it's hole. Oh yeah. Bet you there's something living in that hole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to guess this is it. Right over that hill. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, we didn't see any sign, but we're pretty sure this is the end of the marked trail. We have no idea anymore. There's still trail that goes farther, mm -hmm. but I know that it's supposed to continue, but it's not part of no. uh, this West Fork Trail. This West Fork Trail is supposed to end at wherever the pools are, and I think the pool was where those rapids were um, that we just crossed a few minutes ago. We're hoping. So, I think that's it. I think. We're out of time anyway, so we gotta turn around. We gotta turn around because we got a long way back. Yeah. And since this is an out and back trail, you've already seen pretty much everything. So I'm not gonna film on the way back. We're yeah. just gonna we're just gonna hightail it as quick as we can. Yep. Back to the uh, trailhead. So um, I hope uh. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this hike. Yep. I know we did. Yeah. That it was, was fun. It was super awesome. Um, but we're gonna end the video. So second start of the right. Straight on. Good morning. Thanks, guys.